Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PubMed's search filters in order to make your searching easier and more efficient. In this tutorial, I'm going to try to find some articles about the effectiveness of diabetes self-management education programs. To do so, we'll start with a simple keyword search. Even if you're using basic keyword searching, you can always enhance the precision of your searches by using the search filters on the left-hand side of the screen. Some of these are relatively intuitive. If you need more recent articles, you can use the date slider to weed out older content. Alternatively, you can use the predetermined date ranges below. Then there's the text availability filter. Not everything on PubMed is immediately available in full text. Therefore, you might be tempted to check the free full text box. That would, however, eliminate all articles that are not considered open access. Some articles that aren't open access are provided in full text to you because of your affiliation with the University of Alabama. We pay for access so that you can use them. Therefore, I would recommend just choosing full text or leaving it alone entirely. You can also choose a specific article type. And there's a whole range of additional options under the Additional Filters button. Here, you'll find more article type options, species options, language, sex, subject, journal, and finally age. I find the age limiter especially useful. It can save you the trouble of adding descriptive keywords like elderly or children. And that's all for this tutorial. We have other PubMed tutorials available if you want to learn more. And if you have a question, just ask a librarian.